Mm. <laughs> it's time for makeover again. I mean, yeah, not a makeover, a transformation. That's what I meant to say. Guys, 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 guys. Let's just have a real talk moment here. I know real talk with Rock kind of died for the moment, but um, real talk right here, right now. Sometimes we don't have time to get ready and put in a lot of effort. For me, sometimes it could take me an hour to two hours to get ready hair and makeup. So today, I'm gonna show you my 30 minute full glam transformation that is kind of like quick, easy, and using all affordable drugstore products. Hair is our first thing to tackle because like it's just, it's really not looking great. Um, so I'm gonna show you my favorite way that I've recently been doing to get those like big voluminous textured waves that a lot of you guys have been liking on my IG. So we're gonna do that. I actually partnered up with SGX NYC on this video, which I'm actually really excited about because I discovered them on one of my normal like, you know, two hour shopping sprees at Target. Um, I actually saw this because I thought the packaging was really cute and I ended up picking it up. And I really, really like the products. They're really good for, um, you know, the price point. It's obviously an affordable brand, drugstore brand. So we're gonna start a hump with the Dry Touch Volumizing Dry Shampoo. This stuff is bomb, you guys. If you have flat hair, thin hair, fine hair, limp hair, like I do, like, do you see this? I need stuff like this that's gonna give me some volume and my like number one thing that I actually really like to do is use this even on clean hair. Obviously you can use it to refresh second day or third day hair, um, but I love using it on my clean hair when my hair is super limp because then I can just spray it in the roots just like so. I just kind of section off my hair roughly and go in all around the crown of my head. And you can see it doesn't leave any like white residue at all or any white you know, flakes or anything like a lot of dry shampoos do. And I go in and rub this product in to give me a little extra oomph. Boom! We already got a lot more volume going on. And again, like I said, you can obviously use this on second day hair, third day hair to absorb like excess oil as more of, I guess you would say like a traditional dry shampoo technique would be, but I really like using this on my clean hair because it gives me a little, just a lift at the roots. Um, and it smells so good. It smells like very, like fresh. I almost want to say like slightly, 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 slightly on the sweet side, but not too sweet. Just more of like a, like, like, a dust of sweetness, but it smells really bomb. So definitely try this out if you are looking for something that's gonna lift, do a little lift, you know, a little lift up. When I'm really in a rush, I will only, like I get a little lazy with my hair because I just obviously wanna go quicker. So I only section it off into two sections. Um, this kind of works for me because I do have that finer hair texture. If you have thicker hair, you might still need to do three sections, but I have just been doing two and it's been working wonders for me. So this is what I've been using to curl my hair and I've really been loving this too. Um, again, honestly, I, I never really felt like I could get my hair to look the way I wanted it where it's more of those like looser waves that definitely have that like texture to it. So this is, I believe this is just called the GHD Soft Wave Styler. I'm gonna go in with this. I personally don't know how to use this thing, so I just don't, I just wrap my hair around. Um, but it's very, very easy to use, very quick to use too, which is obviously super important if you're getting ready for work or school or anything like that. Well, what I do is literally just wrap my hair around the styler for about five to seven seconds, and then I let go. The reason why I like that particular tool is because it really doesn't give you those like ringlets, it gives you like a nice loose wave, and then once we add the texture and stuff, it looks so good. That literally took me under 10 minutes to curl my hair. Honestly, I don't know, this is the fastest curler I've ever used for some reason. I feel like it's just the right temperature. The GHD ones, they don't tell you what temperature it is. They actually like try to, um, I think there's like some kind of technology that tries to go with whatever your hair type is and it heats it up to the proper temperature so that it's like not too damaging but still like does the job. So I really like this one because like it was super, super quick. And I feel like because the barrel is so large, you don't have to be 
that particular with like the types of sections that you're getting. Like you can kind of just wing it and then it turns out like this. Then that's when I go in with my texture spray. So this is the do it all three in one dry texture spray from SGX NYC. And what I like to do with this is just go all throughout the hair on both sides. So this is gonna add that texture, but it doesn't feel gritty on the hair or like weigh it down. It's pretty lightweight. And I just feel like it adds the perfect amount of texture to make it, to make your hair almost look like lived in, that's the word that I would use. And it does also like absorb oil and get your hair looking voluminous, you know? That's what we want, really. And then I honestly just kind of like continue to play around the hair and mold it to the way that I want it to sit. Va, la, boom. So much volume. I love this look because like you saw, it's super quick and easy and you just get this like very effortless beachy texture to your hair. Um, I'm not gonna lie, like before it would take me so long to do my hair because I've always been an extension kind of girl, especially since my hair is super like fine and limp. So whether it's like longer extensions or clip in, like just like short extensions that match my hair length, I used to never leave the house without my extensions, but that adds like a good extra, I don't know, I would say like 20 minutes to clip in like the individual wefts. But now that I've been doing this little routine, like especially when I'm in that like on the time crunch. Um, I feel like I don't even need to clip in extensions because I get the same look, the same volume and everything with just my natural hair. She's a nat snatch kind of girl now. Um, and some of the products actually won some Allure Best of Beauty Awards. So the SGX NYC Dry Touch Volumizing Dry Shampoo won the, I think it was like the best beauty steals of 2019. Um, Cause like I said, it, they're very affordable. And then another one of their more popular products is the Curl Power Nourishing Curl Cream. And this one won like the best styling product of the hair product category altogether. So super exciting stuff. And as you can tell, we got the volume. So I just clipped my hair back because I don't want it to get in my face, but these are actually really nice because if you do your hair before your makeup, um, this doesn't make it like dented or it's not supposed to at least. I'm gonna start with brows, but to be honest, I really love these little eye patch things. So I'm just gonna pop some on while I do my brows. Um, Cause this is one of my favorite things to do when getting ready and it doesn't take obviously any extra time. Cause Oh, that's nice. It's like super cooling. I love these. These ones, um, I'm not sure where you get these. Actually, I just found them in my bag. This is the only thing that's not like super drugstore in this video, but it's the Skin Iceland Hydro Cool Firming Eye Gels. Bomb, okay? For brows, I've actually been loving brow powders. I feel like it's very, very quick and easy to do. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today for this little quick and easy routine. This one's actually the medium powder from e.l.f. Those of you who watch my videos a lot, you know I actually like my brows on the lighter side. I don't want anything too dark. I'm just gonna go in and fill in the sparse areas. And then I'll just go in and outline everything with my ultra precise brow pencil. Brows are done. For primer, definitely fastest thing to use is some kind of like blur stick. Maybelline makes these um, if you wanted something more high end for any reason. Um, MAC makes a really good one. Um, L'Oreal, no, Lancome makes a good one. So you can get these from like different places, but today I am using the Milani Instant Touch Up Blur Stick. Super, super fast and easy to use. You literally just dab it on and then like kind of press it into the skin. Next up, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and do my foundation real quick while we're here. So I'm gonna be using again a foundation stick. I've mentioned this before, but it really, really is the easiest way to get flawless full coverage skin in the shortest amount of time possible. So this one is the Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation Stick. Bomb, 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 bomb product. Okay, just saying. So I'm using the shade 265 Natural Tan. Hopefully it matches right now. Yeah, I think that should be good. So you just wanna apply a good layer and then I usually find that with stick foundations, a brush is the easiest and the best way to get like full coverage. So I'm just gonna go in and dab this into the skin. Honestly, this foundation stick is so bomb. It gives you the best coverage, but it's not dry, even though it's like a natural matte finish, which for fall, I always love natural 
matte finishes for some reason. Boom, she is re born, okay? I really love this foundation stick, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I just feel like it looks so good. Um, okay, so moving on to the eyes, I'm just gonna do like a really, really quick and easy eye look, something that I would throw on if I do wanna look like full glam, but I don't wanna put in the work for full glam. Blech, full glam. <laughs> that too. So I'm just gonna go ahead and conceal my eyelids with my e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer and blend that in really quickly. Then I thought this palette from ColourPop was so cute. It's called the Whatever palette and inside they have a lot of really nice warm tone shades. Obviously you can go with any like kind of palette that you like um, as far as like the shades but I do feel like ColourPop shades blend out really nicely and I love a good warm tone and like plummy tone and I feel like this is such a good like fall palette. So I'm gonna be using this. Easiest thing to do, take a warm brown, this one's called Pass It On, and I'm gonna pop that right into our crease. Next up, I'm gonna take In Bold. You just wanna take something that's a bit darker and pop this onto the inner and the outer corner. And then once you have less product on the brush, you wanna actually blend that into the crease just a little bit. I mean, I only picked up like a little bit and it's giving me a lot to work with here, you know? I love this color combo. Then I'm gonna take the shade Ditchin' You. You wanna take something that has like that metallic reflect and I'm just gonna press that onto my eyes right in the center of the lid with my ring finger. And the same brush we used for the deeper brown, you just wanna blend together those sides. And I feel like this looks so cute. Three shadows, it literally took me like a minute to do this, but it looks like a full on eye look, okay? Okay. So I'm gonna move straight to lashes, no cut crease, no wing liner, cause we definitely don't have time for that. So for mascara, I'm gonna do the NYX On The Rise Volume Mascara, and then this, <laughs> this pair of Ardell Faux Mink. Um, this is in the style 814. But first, mascara. Changed my mind. We're actually using just plain Ardell Wispies. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. Like, honestly, me and Wispies kind of went through like a separation period for a while and I didn't love them. We were not on good terms, you know what I mean? But like, we're back, and honestly, I would say better than ever. I really, really like the way these look with this look. Did that make sense? We're gonna move back to the face now, so I'm going in with some concealer. This is my e.l.f. 16 hour camo. Lock, pop, lock, and drop it, concealer. All right, so concealers going on. We're using a full coverage concealer because you don't really need to do that much work for it to look bomb. And I'm just gonna blend that out real quick. It looks so good, like right away. You really do not have to work this into the skin too much or anything. All right, so we are not going to be doing cream, contour, highlight, blush, et cetera, like I normally would do in like my normal makeup routine, but we're just gonna go in and bake with the Makeup Revolution Luxury Baking Powder in Banana. It's actually a really, really bomb one because they sell it at like Ulta and the drugstore section and everything like that. Press it into the skin, nice and snatched. We're gonna go in with bronzer now. Um, this is one that I've used before, but this is like a new, you know, like a new specific one, if that makes sense, like a new product, but I've used this product before, but I lost it somehow. Bam! Okay, so this is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer, and this is the shade What Shady Beaches. Get it? We're gonna kind of pat this into the skin and use it almost like a contour and a bronzer. So you wanna press it and then blend it up and out. We're just gonna go ahead and wipe everything away. For blush, I'm gonna pop on, I think I'm gonna use a mix of Shisha and Luxor from the Catrice Iman blush palette. And we're just gonna pop that on. These blushes are so nice too. Super like blendable and I love the colors. I am such a blush girl too, you guys. Like I never feel like my look is complete without blush on. Like I really feel like that brings it all together. And I'm also gonna use the Catrice Iman highlighter palette. So I'm gonna use the shade Victoria and pop that right on the high points of the cheeks. 
So for lips, um, I'm gonna go in with ColourPop Beeper. It's like a brown tone lip liner. And I think I just want it like a little, slightly, slightly, slightly bit darker on the edges. So I'm gonna use BFF3. And then for lips, we're gonna go in with a couple of the soft matte lip creams from NYX. This is probably one of my favorite, like all time favorite lip formulas. And it just happens to be obviously from the drugstore. So, you know. Oh, if you want a nude, then I would definitely recommend London. That's such a pretty color for nude. But I thought it'd be cute to do a little fall color. I haven't used this shade yet. It's called Berlin. So I think I'm just gonna go in with a little, ooh, I like that shade. So we're just gonna go in with a little bit. And then I wanna like pat it in and almost make an even softer soft matte lip. And then I'm just gonna top it off with a little bit of the shade Rome, just to add a little bit more rosiness. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is our finished look, a nice little quick fall glam. I absolutely love how it turned out. And I don't know, I just feel like, dang, a little sprinkle of fall up in here. Thank you again to SGX NYC for partnering with me and giving me some volume that I always need in my life. Um, and yeah, thank you guys for always watching, supporting, commenting, subscribing. I really appreciate every single one of you. You are beautiful inside and out. Love you guys so much. And I will see you in my next video. I just hate the way I talk. I don't care if it looks like I'm naked. They already know I'm not. Ugh, my lips are dry and crusty. To you know, get it. <laughs>